Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today uh, I'm going to be doing Shocker Quest 3, and I also have some other Shocker requests coming, but I mean Shocker tutorials, but they won't be in this because they're a bit they're a bit harder and a bit longer to do, so I'll probably make a separate tutorial on them, but uh, without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, for the first one, it shows how to overlay video with another video. So, for example, if I wanted to take a video, if I want to take a clip, if I want to take a clip here, I'm just going to cut it just because why not. And then I wanted to add as like a face cam, right? What you want to do is when you have the clip in the timeline, add another video track, and then open up your face cam or whatever the video you want to use. It could be a meme. Okay, once it's open, I'm just going to use this because it's, uh, it's a meme and I have it on my PC. Uh, you're going to put it into the video track and first obviously what you want to do is add a chroma key if there is. So if it takes the entire frame you don't have to do anything but since mine has like green on the up, I'm just going to take a chroma key. And then what you want to do is you want to add a size, position and rotate to the, to the meme or the overlay video. And what I'm going to do is you can resize it and then you can reposition it. So I could put it like right here and boom. We have a cook, but um, it's, it's shot cut, right? But anyway, um, that's basically how you do it, and you can do this with any video, and it works really well. It's really good for meme videos, or if you just want to do face cam. Moving on to the next one. Okay, for the next one, um, it, someone asked how to change the opacity of a picture or a video. And what you want to do is just, it's a filter basically. You can just go here, go to video, and add opacity. And if I added this, it's, it won't work because there's no there's no video in the background, meaning there's nothing for it to fade into. So it usually works better with two videos. You have to have two. So if you want just for one video, you're gonna have to have a black screen in the back. But what you wanna do is, why did I close my filters? Is go to the open file, add any video. I'm just gonna add, if I, if I want to add, what do I, what do I add, what do I add? Say so yeah, I want to add this. Here I'm gonna put a opacity filter and just set it. Now you can see it's it's basically just blending into the video behind it. And you could do this with a, a bunch any other video. It basically just blends it in. But you have to have two videos or at least two video tracks for it to work. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Moving on. Okay, so for the next one, uh, this one's good for montages. It's basically uh, right before the kill, it fades out the video, and then right when the kill happens, it the the colors come back, and the entire video comes back basically. Kind of like when you kill, it becomes dark, and then when you kill, it becomes light again. Um, basically, it's you have to keyframe. I'm pretty sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where I get the kill, which is like right around here on this frame. I'm going to cut it by hitting S or clicking this icon right here. <laughs> Go to the back clip and I'm going to just add a filter. And there's actually two ways to do this. Uh, actually, the simpler way would be if I actually just like undo the cut. I think the simpler way would be would just add a fade out video, actually. That might be it. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay, that was easy. Uh, yeah, you want to do fade out video. Um, you can choose how long you want it to be by here, the duration, I can just go down, you can see the, this black shade part is becoming smaller, and then this is becoming smaller like that, and that's basically how you do that one. There's another way to do it, but this is easier, and it's simple, so yeah. Okay, so for the next one, uh, someone asks how to add color filters, or specifically orange and teal, but there's a few ways to do this again. You can either just change the hue, lightness, and saturation, but that doesn't work as well as because this one kind of like inverts the colors in weird ways. You can go to your video filters and search your color grading, and here you can just uh, basically have like a, a filter on the video. And I'm pretty sure I can find teal around here. Here's like teal, and then here's like orange, as like a it adds like a filter, and you can customize how you like it. Uh, that that one's also pretty easy. Uh, yeah. Okay guys, that's going to be the end for this tutorial. It was pretty short because I didn't have that much to do and doing small ones is pretty easy. But I have some big tutorials coming for transitions and how to edit a yarn and numby and improvise on Shotcut instead of using Adobe. And obviously it's not a better choice, but if you really have to work with Shotcut, uh, yeah, I'll teach you some, some good ways. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other other 
things I can do in Shotcut, just leave a comment below and I'll include the next tutorial. With, and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.